As we continue to bring you coverage of the upcoming total solar eclipse, we're taking a look at how surrounding counties will handle this influx of tourists. Fox SA's Ethan Trejo take a trip down to Bandera County as they get ready. The small county of Bandera is home to just over 20,000 people. But when the total eclipse takes place on April 8th, the county expects to quadruple that amount. The original forecasts were here were for our population to at least increase four times. So that would mean the population would be 80,000. This will be a challenge and we are up to the challenge. The county won't be caught off guard though. They've been preparing for this phenomenon for nearly three years. We had our first official planning session on April the 8th, 2021. Our ultimate goal is for this to be a safe and enjoyable event for, um, for everyone here in Bandera County, whether you live here or you're going to visit here for the event. Bandera County is set to hold two separate music festivals with live bands and food vendors for tourists to enjoy, as well as many other watch parties. While county leaders say they're prepared, one concern does stand above the rest. We do anticipate the traffic to be, to be quite heavy during the event. My biggest concern that people aren't talking about, that the traffic leaving is going to be worse than the traffic during and before. The county's message for the Bandera area, patience. Pack your patience, both visitors and locals, and it could be the world's largest tailgate party in the Hill Country on April the 8th. Look at it that way. Ethan Trejo, <laughs> Fox SA. Like it. Well, Kendall County is the latest to issue a disaster declaration ahead of next month's eclipse. At least three other counties in Central Texas and the Hill Country, located in that path of totality, have also issued disaster declarations. Kendall County officials want to be prepared for any potential emergency while hundreds of thousands of visitors are in this area. The declaration allows the county to ask the state for more help. We're not going to be able to rely on our regular mutual aid partners because they're coming from counties that are experiencing the same issues we are. So it just gives us a little bit better avenue to reach out for the state for additional resources or supplies or things like that should we need them. Kerr County has also made a disaster declaration specifically requesting additional fuel, drinking water and medical supplies.